Okay, member of Carly Church, whoever's watching this, this is my demonstration of the how to work the timer clocks on this Mitsubishi heater. So the main buttons you'll need are timer, set, reset, and then the arrow keys. So let's get into it. First thing, you press timer, and then you have a selection of different menus. Okay, so you have to wait for it maybe just until it shows the first one. So the first one here is you can set the clock. Then you can put a sleep timer on it, scroll down. You can uh, turn uh, an off timer, and I'll talk about that in a minute, uh, and an on timer. So that's about setting the specific timers um, for it. Uh, the main areas we're going to look at here are the weekly timers. Um, and you can see it's, we've reached the bottom of the menu here because it's just telling us to go up. Uh, so there are two things that I want us to look at today, the weekly timer and of course just generally setting the clock. So let's go to clock set. First thing we do is, is we press set. Set is like your enter button. So if we press set, now it tells us to set the day uh, of the clock. Now if you can see uh, just above here, uh, it has the days of the week. And just above, it has a little arrow saying what day it is. So we know, um, and you can see it, we can move it using the button. So it's currently on Thursday, but we can move it to Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. If that's right. Oh, now I've lost it. I think it's on Saturday, Friday. Thursday. So it's currently set at Thursday, so which is the day today, so I can press set like that. Okay? If ever you need to go out of the menu, so say we set the timer again, uh, you can just set it, uh, you can go back by pressing this reset button. Okay? So we're back to the main menu, timer, select item, wait for it, clock set, we press set, so that's the day set. Oh, okay, so we're on to clocks. So we're on to clock set. We can do day set. And then it will say timer set. So once we've set the day, then we go through to the timer set. So it is 11.42, but you basically change it just by going up and down on your arrow keys. When you've got the right time, it says clock set. Okay, so that's how you set the clock. Then, what we wanna do is we wanna set a weekly timer, okay? So to do this, we go into the weekly timer menu and we press set. So the first thing it wants us to do is set a particular timer. So, so you can set a timer, or if you go on holiday, you can set specific months uh, when you'll be on holiday and it will stop those timers, for example. Uh, so let's go into timer set. Okay, so now we want to set a day. So it says currently that we're in Sunday. So I'll show you how to set the day, the, the timing for the heater to come on, on a Sunday. So we're into Sunday, so we press day. And you'll see there on the right hand side, there's number one and number two. Now what I've done is, is that I've set a uh, timer at number one for it to come on. So the heating will come on according to this timer at nine o'clock on a Sunday and it will turn up to 30 degree heat, okay? So let's just go, uh, and if, you, if I scroll down to number two, you'll see here that there is an off timer set for 12 o'clock that day, okay? So nine o'clock is the on timer and it goes off at 12, all right? Now to set this, we go in and we press set. Now, it will give you the choice whether you want to do an on timer or an off timer. Now, we want this to come on, so we will do an on timer. We then set the time, so we can set it 9 o'clock, 9.10, 8.50, that sort of thing, using the arrow keys, so I'll press 9 o'clock. Then, it will ask you to set the temperature. Okay, so we've set our timer then, so let's say then, we want to select number, select number two this time. So now we've got our off timer. So this is when it's going to come off on a Sunday. And then we set it to 12 o'clock. Again, you can change that. 
1230. Set that timer and that's when the heaters will come off on a Sunday. When you're finished with all of that, well, you can either choose a different day. So let's, for example, let's select Monday. So we select number one. Let's choose an on timer to go on at nine o'clock. Temperature set. And then I select number. Let's say I want to do now create a number two timer. So I want it to go off at, yeah, let's say 3.30, okay? So now I've set on Monday and you can see it's underlined there now so that we can see that there is a timer there. So there is a timer set on Monday to go on at one o'clock, uh, sorry, to go on at nine o'clock and to go off at 3.30, okay? So we scroll down here. Now, if for example, you wanted to reset any timers, something's gone wrong, something like that, you go here to the check reset. So it's in your menu here when you're setting your timers, check reset. And all you do is you go into that and we can currently see that we're in Monday. Oh no, that's the Sunday, I think. Oh yeah. So now we're in the Monday because we can see the little arrow just by the Monday. And what we can do is we can reset our timers and get rid of them just by cancelling and pressing set here. So cancel setting and say yes, we'd want that set cancelled. And then we can cancel the off timer as well. So the set has been cancelled. And you'll see that underlined bit is no longer there on the Monday, okay? So hopefully <laughs> that helps us out a little bit in terms of setting the timers on this uh, timer clock. Um, there's a couple of other uh, things here which I won't go into, it's not particularly important, it just shows that you can set the uh, mode or the type of uh, air or the, the strength of air that comes out of the uh, air conditioning unit uh, by using these, these buttons here. Um, and also where it goes and whether your fan is gonna move. Um, but I don't think we need to go into that now. This is just how to set the timer clock on the Mitsubishi. So hopefully that helps Carly Church. Um, I can always <laughs> write it down if it doesn't. Thank you.